Welcome to Reality is Undefeated. I'm Ant Gatewood. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to react to this video that speaks to something I spoke about a couple years ago. Um, I did a video speaking about black women's protection or lack thereof. And in that video, I spoke of how the more protection that a black woman perceives she has, the more reckless she is with her actions. I think this video speaks perfectly to that. So let's get into it. It was a horrendous attack captured on video at a salon in the Southeast Valley and those responsible now behind bars. Thank you for joining us at 11. I'm Brian Loftus and I'm Denise Valdez. It happened a couple of weeks ago at Nail Palace on Flamingo and University Center Drive and tonight that business is open once again. Eight News Now reporter James Schaefer joins us with the owner's message for the community. Everyone came together as a family. That's how the victim in this assault, Nathan Nunyan, is describing the community the day as they reopen Nail Palace. Customers inside, the lights are on. The owners telling me they are thankful for the police and other businesses nearby that rushed to their aid. Uh, uh, uh. The result of an assault back in February 26. Nathan Nunyan attacked inside his business by three individuals for almost a minute. After a dispute between the owner and a woman that wanted to use the bathroom for free, the woman identified as 22-year-old Tatiana Wilson. Yes, you the charges? Yes, sir. Tatiana and her brother, 21-year-old Larry Wilson Jr. and father, 52-year-old Larry Darnell Wilson, appearing in court Tuesday on charges related to the attack. Arrest records show that two days after the assault, police located Larry Wilson and, quote, Larry was wearing the same sweatpants that can be seen in the video surveillance from the nail salon. Okay. I had to actually go read the story after viewing this because to me, there was nothing in there that said that that type of ass whooping was warranted because she wasn't able to use the restroom. And even when I read the story, there was nothing in it. It said she came in wanting a pedicure, but it became clear she wanted to use the restroom. They asked her to leave. She broke a plant on her way out the door and that was even uncalled for. And then moments later, she came back in with her brother and her father. The very first thing that comes to my mind is, what did she tell her father and her brother? Because in this situation, she misused her protection. She clearly has protection. A father, a brother, who are willing to go into a nail salon and beat the brakes off someone. But what was the reason? What did she tell them? But this is what I mean when I say, Black women, your protection account is empty. Your protection account is overdrawn because this did not call for any type of reaction. Like I said, knocking over the plant was even uncalled for. Now, everyone is getting a charge because you were turned away from using a restroom and you couldn't handle that. Women who have protection, listen closely. You have to also protect the men in your lives. They can only be there for you if they're available to be there for you. When you're using this type of protection in situations that don't call for it, it's the equivalent of crying wolf. If you're calling for protection in incidents like this, all it's gonna take is three or four times for someone to stop picking up your phone calls. Hello? Yeah, they over here tripping, I need y'all to come through. No, I can't even do that, click. What? Come on, come on, pick up the phone. Pick up the phone, they really over here tripping, pick up the phone. You have reached the voicemail. That's what it's going to become. You have to learn to avoid certain situations. Learn how to say, oh, okay, go to the next business, especially if you really need to use the restroom. Hell, if I really have to use the restroom, I ain't got time to be fighting with you. Okay, I can't use it here. Let me go on to the next business. Even if you wanted a pedicure, why are we fighting to spend money with people? And another thing, Black men, we can't be out here talking about we want soft women and our women are too masculine and we're raising masculine daughters. Did y'all see the way she took off on him? How come the father didn't arm bar her? The brother didn't push her away like, no, stay over there. What you doing? She knocked the plant down on the way out the door, went and got back up in a situation that didn't call for it, then came back and partook in the ass beating herself. We're raising these type of women and then acting like a man has to meet a certain standard to date our daughters. You know what would have happened if they would have denied a man the ability to use the restroom? He would have just walked out the door. 
Because men know that there's always the potential of danger when it comes to dealing with another man. This is why society is generally safe because men know they have to deal with other men if they get out of line. But women have to know that that danger exists also. So not only is it masculine energy, but it's false masculine energy. It's the same way as when some gay men and some stud women act more like a woman or a man than an actual real woman or a man. They put tins on it, but they keep them clean. And obviously this is this one particular situation, so it does not apply to all black men. But we cannot be raising our daughters like this and then calling for something different. And believe me, I get it as a father, why you come to your daughter's protection like this. If you're told something that calls for it, that's what makes me question, what did she tell her father and brother? There was a situation where I was about to slide my daughter manager in slides, but he ain't want no parts, sent the other manager up who was a woman to come talk to me. Then when we leaving, they like, and which one's your daughter? I said, the one he not going to talk to crazy no more. But it was two of them. Well, I guess he ain't going to talk to either one of them crazy again, huh? So I understand completely how a father goes from zero to 100 that fast when somebody's messing with their daughter. But it's dependent on the information that the daughter gives them. But again, if you have protection, you have to be selective of how you use that protection. You have to protect your protectors because not every situation is going to go the way that you see it going in your mind. Yeah, they're big, macho, masculine. They can run up on the weakest person with a firearm. Glock, Ruger, Smith & Wesson makes them more than capable of handling that situation. Be mindful of that.